Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I did this bronze smoky eye paired with a nice golden glow and a really soft red ombre lip. And I think this look is perfect for the holidays and I used a bunch of new products. So if you guys want to know how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids and I'm using the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer and applying it all over the lid and brow bone using my finger. And then I'm going to set that primer and I'm using one of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Single Shadows in the shade Lace. And I'm applying that all over the brow bone and lid with a Real Techniques setting brush. And then using another new shade called Belize, I'm going to apply this as my transition shade using a Morphe E27 brush. I'm then going to go into the shade Fudge, which was also in her Shadow Couture palette. And I'm taking a Morphe 433 brush and I'm just going to start packing it on the outer third of the lid and then start working it into the crease and then blending it together with that Belize shade using that Morphe E27 brush. I'm then going to go into another new shade called Chiffon and I'm going to apply that all over the lid using my finger. This is one of her titanium formulas which is very similar to like the Makeup Geek foiled shadows and I find that it's easiest for me and you get the most opaque coverage if you apply it with your finger rather than using a brush. I'm then just going to take a little bit more of that fudge color with that Morphe 433 brush and I'm just going to blend that color in and sort of deepen up the crease a little bit more. And then I'm going to apply the Benefit Their Real Mascara and I'm going to curl my lashes to prep for falsies. And then today I'm using the Vegas Ney for Eyler uh, Grand Glamour Lashes. And then I'm just going to tight line my upper waterline using my Urban Decay 24-7 slide-on pencil in the shade Demolition. Moving on to the face, I'm first going to prime my skin using the Benefit Professional Primer. I tried this for the first time this week and I really loved it. It made my skin feel super smooth without it also making it feel really silicone-y. And I could totally tell in person that it was filling in my pores. I'm then just going to spray a little bit of this Benefit Ultra Radiance Hydrating Mist because my skin has been a little bit dry recently. For foundation, I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation and I'm in the shade 127. I also tried this for the first time this week and I really like it so far. I have oily combo skin and it had a nice satin finish to it um, after I applied it and it had about medium coverage but it was definitely buildable. So I'm just going to apply this with my damp beauty blender and just going to pounce it all over the skin. Then for highlighting and contouring, I'm first going to use the LA Girl Cosmetics Pro Conceal in Light Ivory to highlight. And I'm applying that underneath the eyes in a triangle shape. And then on the center of my chin, the center of my forehead, underneath the hollows of my cheeks, and then on the bridge of my nose. I'm then going to press that concealer into the skin using my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. And I really like this brush for this step because it's super densely packed, so you really don't have to do much. You just press it in and it blends in seamlessly, and it really keeps that bright pigmentation there. I'm then just going to blend out that under eye concealer even more using my Damp Beauty Blender. 
For my cream contour, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Toast. And I'm just applying that to my cheekbones and then a little bit on my temples and by my jawline and down my nose. I'm then just going to blend out my cream contour using my Sigma F57 brush. This is one of their newer face architecture brushes, and this is one of my favorite brushes. I've honestly used it every single time I've done my makeup ever since I got these brushes, and it just blends out my cream contour so well and so easily, so I would totally recommend it. And then I just like to use my finger for my nose since it's a smaller area. I'm then just going to highlight the under eye a little bit more and I'm using my Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer in light. And then I'm just going to blend that out using a damp beauty blender. And then to bake I'm using the NYX Color Correcting Powder in the shade Banana and applying that with my Real Techniques Complexion Perfection Sponge. And I'm just gonna apply that under the eyes and a little bit on the chin and then underneath the contour just to clean up that line. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder and I'm in the shade 220 or Natural Beige and I'm just applying this all over the rest of my face using a e.l.f. complexion brush. And then to bronze up the skin, I'm using the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Give Me Sun and applying this with a Sigma F23 brush. And then to really define that contour, I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer and applying it with a Morphe M405 brush. And then I'm going to take a mix of the banana and vanilla shades from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit um, on a Sigma F37 brush and I'm just going to dust away that excess NYX banana powder as well as set those areas that I wanted highlighted. And then for blush I'm using my new favorite Urban Decay Afterglow 8 hour blush in the shade Video and applying it with my Morphe E4 brush. And then for my glow, I am mixing Benefit Sunbeam with Laura Geller's Gilded Honey. And for Sunbeam, I like to apply it um, straight from the bottle to the back of my hand and then pick it up with a damp beauty sponge and then apply it to the areas of my face that I want to highlight. And then over top of Sunbeam, I'm going to apply Gilded Honey using my Morphe G23 fan brush. And I prefer to use a fan brush when I first apply my highlighter just because I feel like it diffuses the highlight a little bit more and makes it seem like it's more blended into the skin. And then to really intensify the glow, I'm just going to pack that Gilded Honey on using my Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 brush. And I personally really love a strong cupid's bow and um, nose highlight, so I'm just going to apply a little bit more using my finger. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm first going to take the shade Belize with my Morphe M433 brush and smoke out the lower lash line. I'm then going to take the shade Fudge and focus it on the outer part. And then I'm going to apply my Benefit Therial Mascara to my lower lashes. 
And then I'm going to take Soft Gold from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to use a pencil brush to highlight my brow bone and the inner corners. And then to intensify that highlight a little bit more, I'm going to dampen my brush with my Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist and apply that again. I'm then just going to set the rest of my makeup by spraying the Fixing Mist all over. So for the lips, I wanted to do a soft ombre red lip. And so first I'm going to take Jeffree Star's Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Unicorn Blood. And this is a really deep, kind of rusty red shade. And I'm just going to apply that all over the lips. I'm then going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Candy Apple and it's a much brighter red when it has a subtle hint of glitter in there and I'm just going to apply that to the center of my bottom and top lip and I'm going to blend the two shades together using my finger. So here is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial and I wish you all a very happy holidays. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video.